Ah, uh, my favorite part of every build. Engine on the workbench. what they call NOI engines, which are more horizontal cylinder out here, kind of more uh, standard. Um, this is the vertical VIP engine. Um, so the cylinders on top, they don't make a lot of parts for this engine. Uh, they don't make kits. They stopped making kits for this engine a long time ago, apparently in the early 2000s, and you can't get your hands on them anymore. They do sell some kits for the NOI that you can modify and, and fit on here. Um, but the reed to reed block to intake to carb is a challenge. Uh, I think my initial plans for this is just to build it as is. Well, I don't know that because I do have some parts for this. So I guess I'll worry about the top end later. I think right now I'm just going to take it all apart, work on the on the bottom end. Uh, I've got new seals, new bearings, new gaskets, all that good stuff. We'll paint it up, make it look pretty, clean it, just get everything perfect, and then we'll worry about the top end later. Anyway, I'm gonna zoom you in, and uh, let's start taking this beast apart. As is proper, Italian bike, Delorto car. This is a 1412, I believe. Just your regular SHA. It looks a little funny because it's got the big air filter, but um, it is just a straight Delorto. I may reuse this intake depending on what we do with the top end. Oh shit, that thing is tiny. Damn, that's a small little intake. Probably won't be using that intake. A little bit of scoring, but hardly any blow-by on the piston rings. Yeah, this thing is in great shape. That's disgusting. I mean, it's old, but there's no real metal chips in it or anything. It's just nasty. It smells nasty. Yeah, there's pieces of clutch throughout here. That's okay, I've got a replacement. I don't know. Oh, I see. I see. There it is.
Man, that thing is a precision damn fit. If you get it just even a little bit off kilter. There it is, come on. Almost. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna attack it from the other side. See what happens. These two little shims. And there's these two little springs in there too. Uh, those are tiny. I'm going to put them right in there. Hmm. I don't know. How does that work? That doesn't come off? That's all one piece? Oh shit! That shit came out! These things fell off. That's this part right here. Uh, since mine fell out, I didn't get a chance to note the orientation, uh, which ends up biting me in the ass upon reassembly. If you're doing this, uh, make sure you note which way that thing goes in. This goes right dead center. This guy. Make a different pile for inside stuff. Inside stuff. Damn it, that thing's gotta come off. That's stupid. This guy needs to come off. Has to. I edited out the part earlier where I spent 30 minutes trying to get this stupid gear off to no avail, so. 
Uh, that's why I'm so frustrated at this point. This stupid thing has to come off. God dang it. Ah, I got it. <laughs> this, that, and this with the splines. And that. Oop. Up this. Goes right here. Oh. I don't know where this went. Shit. Okay. Get this guy out. Uh, so I bought the seals and bearings kit, but there's four bearings and they only sent me three. Wait a minute, no, three 6203s. They didn't send me this guy. Yeah, one, two, three. I need a 16004 and I might actually have that. Let me check my seals. One, two, three. Okay. Those look pretty straight. I need that bearing. They might have it at the store up the street. There it is. There it goes. And there we go. Alright, these things are ready for cleaning. 
Uh, I get to use my new part washer. Hot damn. It's all about airplanes. Winds around the world. Psychological. ready to go. Uh, they got the engine all cleaned up. Uh, time to put it together except it's Saturday night and that bearing store doesn't open until Monday and my very first step now that I've got it all cleaned and level is to put the bearings in. So uh, I'm missing that 16004 bearing. I'll get down there Monday lunchtime and pick it up and then hopefully Monday evening I will be here building the engine.